In the New Living Translation of Matthew 11 from verse 28, we read, Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. For many of us, the metaphor that Jesus is using when he makes this invitation may not make that much sense. But for those living in the farming communities of Jesus' day, his point was quite clear. A yoke was a common farming implement. It was the bar of wood placed across the shoulders of a pair of oxen, connecting the two of them together at the scruff of the neck. Then a plow would be connected to the yoke, and the pair of oxen would then walk forward as a team, dragging the plow between them, plowing up the ground in preparation for planting season. Farmers would often span a headstrong, inexperienced ox in with an older, more stable and experienced ox in order that the younger ox can learn how to walk in step and work together in rhythm with another worker in the field. Once they had gotten to know each other, a pair or a yoke of oxen was a powerful and effective team. The other reference to yoke in that season was its use by the rabbinic schools in the Jewish community. Followers of a rabbi or a teacher were often referred to as being under that rabbi's yoke. Being his student, one of his disciples, would mean taking up his yoke and learning his ways and living in accordance with his teachings. Jesus is calling us to partner with him. Firstly, in terms of what we need to learn from him, and secondly, in the way we need to work with him. He wants to impart to us his way of seeing and doing life. The way he thinks, speaks, and acts needs to become our point of reference for the way we deal with life. We study him as we walk with him, learning to do his work, his way. In the message paraphrase, we read it, in this way, Jesus is inviting us to walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Now, after his resurrection, Jesus entrusted his mission to his followers, those who had taken his yoke upon themselves. To them and to every generation of followers since, his instruction remains clear. Go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age.